Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns, and in this video, we're going to be comparing two tools for creating a personal fitness application. The two tools are bolt.new and lovable.dev. So let's go ahead and get started by first creating our prompt and then providing the exact same prompt to both the tools and see what tools comes out ahead. So I'm gonna start off by saying, rewrite this prompt better to provide an AI coder that will give us specific instructions on how to best create this app. So first, let's get a nice and detailed prompt. Now that it's done, what we need to do is copy this entire thing and I'm gonna paste it on Lovable and then also paste this on Bolt. And let's come back to this in about five minutes, see what it can build for us. And then I'm gonna resume this video. Okay, so let's see the first iteration from Bolt. Welcome to Fit Coach. What's your goal? And I'm gonna say building weight, losing weight. Um, sure, let's say building weight. I'm gonna give it some random basic information and fitness lever, let's just say this is beginner and I have access to a gym, so let's do that. Welcome to your personalized dashboard. Okay, so it's a good start. Let's check out this one from Lovable. I actually like this UI a little bit more and I like the, yeah, I think this one looks a little bit better. Let's do build muscle and then goal selected. So let's get started, but then it doesn't really do anything. So the exact prompt that I used was create a dashboard for the user after they've added in all of their information. And it should show their fitness journey. They can select workouts, find meals, track diets. I'm gonna give the exact same prompt to Bolt, provide the same prompt to Lovable. And you can see that they both have started coding. So let's come back once they're done. Looks like they both say completed. So let's try them out again. So billing weight, blah, blah, blah. And there we go, fit coach. And this is the dashboard. It says weight progress. And once I provide some weight, it's gonna be able to give me some progress. I like that. Today's workout, upper body strength and nutrition. So none of these really do anything, which makes sense. It's a basic app so far. And let's compare this to this one from Lovable. So build muscle. And once it does that, doesn't really take us anywhere. It says you've chosen build muscle, let's get started. So here I'm going to actually have to provide a follow-up prompt. The dashboard does not work after user selects build muscle. And on Bolt, I think I'd like to have some more customization. So these links like progress, nutrition, schedule, none of that works as well. I might also ask it to have some sample data to show some weight progress. So on Bolt, what I said was the links, they don't really work, I fix that. And also give some sample data forecast of where the user's weight is currently and a forecasted weight over the next six months and what it's supposed to look like. So let's do that. And then we can work on meals because I'm sure, yeah, none of these links work as well. So let's start with this and see how far we can get. In the meantime, let's go to the lovable.dev dashboard and see if it can make some improvements here as well. Now here it does say that they did fix it. So let's try this again, build muscle. And there we go. Okay, so we do see a dashboard. We do see some sample weights and some calories, some goal progress. I like this so far. I'm simply going to copy this dashboard and I can go to either ChatGPT or Claude, but let's go to ChatGPT. I created this dashboard for users to track their fitness journey, but it feels bland and empty. What can I do? Give concrete recommendations. And then simply give it this image. Now let's go over to Bolt. This one said it fixed some of the issues that we asked it to do. So what's your goal? Let's say building weight and then keep this standard. And then we have a weight progress and a forecasted. So I like that. That looks kind of interesting, but the graph, not sure about this graph. Maybe an ability to zoom into the graph. So ability to zoom into graph. Let me add that in here before I start testing everything else out. Um, nutrition, okay. Nutrition plan will appear here. I like that these links now do work. They don't there's nothing in those links yet, so we can start adding those soon. Um, today's meal, so breakfast, again, these links aren't working as well. That's fine for now. And then upper body strength, if I click start, yep, nothing works here as well. So first, let me 
add an ability to zoom into the graph and also make the graph look better. It looks lame right now. Then let's go to ChatGPT here and see if we can simply, I haven't even read any of these comments, but let's try to see if this can follow a lot of these recommendations from ChatGPT to see if it can actually improve this uh, any further. Now Bolt's working on this code, so let me pause this video and come back when it's done. Okay, so let's take a look at bolt.new, building weight, next, complete. And there we go. Looks like we have some interactive charts. We have this fit coach. Uh, we have a streak for how long we've been working out. Nutrition, progress, schedules, and settings. I think we can work on those things later. But I really like this dashboard that's created here so far. We can even see it in interactive mode and we can see that not that great in terms of the interactive mode for a phone, but it's good on a computer. So that's another sort of update that we're gonna have to make. Let's compare this with Lovable. So if I click here, okay, so this is a lot better, I, I feel like, especially for phone integration. So it does help this quite a bit. Let's look at both in full screen. And I think this one actually does look really nice here. Um, the dashboard just seems okay. And let's compare this with Lovable or Lovable with Bolt. And again, let's put in some information. Actually, I feel like this dashboard does seem to be looking a lot better. So my personal preference would be Bolt. However, I think that maybe uh, we might just want to put in a little bit more prompts or something on Lovable to see um, what we could do. And that's pretty much it for this video. What I really wanted to do was to compare the functionalities of Bolt with Lovable. So now that we have an understanding about how these two tools work, in a future video, I'm going to be doing a much more of a detailed deep dive into both of these tools in developing a web application from scratch. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.